All right, guys. Hey, what's going on? It's B. Avery here for another episode of Just My Opinion. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, this episode right here, we're doing another box office breakdown. I'm very, very excited about it. Um, as far as new releases are concerned, we only have new re one new release by Mr. Jordan Peele. That is us opening this weekend, March 22nd, 2019. It also opened day and date across the world and all of its territories, countries, uh, the same date as well. And uh, Thursday night, it brought in $7.4 million. Friday, about $29 million. But right now, it is looking like it brought in $70 million, $70 million $250,000 for its opening weekend. And I think that is freaking phenomenal. Now, early reports and early tracking were saying that the film may make around 30 to $40 million. I think that's great. I think that's fantastic. The studio, Universal, Blumhouse, Jordan Peele, everybody will be happy with that opening. And this kind of blew uh, expectations out of the water, in my opinion. Maybe some of you thought it would make this much. I didn't. Um, but it's looking like it made $70 million. Uh, so already in profit land right now. The production budget was only $20 million. I'm getting this information off Box Office Mojo. And also, guys, these are only the estimated numbers. The actuals do come out tomorrow, Monday. And uh, today is just the estimates. The studios, when they release this information and everyone involved, they're around 98 to 99% accurate. So we're just going to roll with it. But right now, Us is doing gangbusters. It is dominating the box office, coming in at number one domestically at $70,250,000. Uh, right now, internationally, uh, it brought another $16.7 million. So the grand total worldwide is $86,950,000. Uh, I think that's phenomenal, like I just said. Now, this is uh, Jordan Peele's sophomore film, his second film. Um, the first one was Get Out, of course, came out 2017, loved it. Um, if you want to actually, if you want my review of um, us or you like my spoiler review of us with the ending explained, you can go to uh, subscribe to my channel and go check it out. I do have both of those reviews on my channel, but uh, with us being a second film, um, Get Out open to $33 million and it ended up grossing $255 million worldwide. It was one of the most profitable films, if not the most profitable, profitable film in 2017. Open to $33 million. The theater count at that time was 2,700, 2,781 theaters, while Get Us had around 1,000 more theaters, 3,741. And um, it has a while to get to 255 million worldwide, like get out. But right now it's at 86 million. I'm um, pretty much 87 million dollars. So, again, that's phenomenal. Now, um, another this Warner Brothers film, The Nun, uh, they had a twenty two dollar twenty. This is just us and some comp uh, comp competing titles. Excuse me. Uh, the Nun by Warner Brothers. It had a twenty two million dollar production budget. It opened to fifty three million dollars at thirty eight hundred theaters. Halloween is another universal property that came out October of last year. Um, that was a $10 million budget. Man, I didn't know it was that cheap. Um, its domestic total was $159. Uh, its opening weekend was 76 So, you know, everybody was anticipating that Halloween is a, a considered a classic. And then Aquaria Play, $17 million. It opened at $50 million. 3,500 theaters uh, ended up making $340 million worldwide. Uh, while the nun also made $365 million worldwide as well. So uh, us is right there as far as, as far as kind of some horror suspense thriller type of films, as far as gaining the interest, you know, from the main population. Uh, Cause it looks like they're showing up at the box office and, you know, I don't blame them. Now let's get over to the top five real quick. Uh, like I said, coming in at number one, we have us at $70,250,000. Coming in at number two, we have Captain Marvel, one of my most anticipated films as well that reviews on my channel. It is in its third week of release, and we're going to come back to that in just a second. Right? Yeah, we're going to come back to that. Uh, Wonder Park is coming in at number three, bringing in another $9 million. Uh, coming in at number four is Five Feet Apart, bringing in another $8,750,000. Both Wonder Park and Five Feet Apart are in the second week of release, excuse me. And coming in at number five is How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. I still have not seen it yet, but I plan on seeing it and also giving a review. So thank you for your patience. It brought in another $6,533,000 and it is in its fifth 
week of release. So number one is us. Number two, Captain Marvel. Number three, Wonder Park. Number four, Five Apart. And number five, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Now, number two at the box office, like I said, is Captain Marvel bringing in another $35 million. It is doing gangbusters as well right now. It has crossed over the $300 million um, debut, not debut, excuse me, uh, mile point for its domestic run as grand total right now, $321 million, $321 million, $498,835 domestically. So Kevin Feige, Disney, Marvel, Brie Larson, all of them are happy right now. Uh, internationally right now it is at 588,000 excuse me not thousand 588 million uh, 800,000 so bringing it to a grand worldwide total of 910 million dollars 910 298,000 eight hundred and thirty five dollars again this is just the estimated numbers i'm sh well sure it's well over 900 million but guys it is tiptoeing close closer and closer and closer to that billion dollar club and i think it's going to get there let me know what you think down in the comment section below do you think it's going to be do you think it's going to make it by uh next week or the weekend after that definitely by the time uh end game comes around uh and this was perfectly placed it's going to get even a bigger boost when people go see avengers in game so i'm just i mean it's probably obvious to you too captain marvel is going to be in the one billion dollar club but let's see how captain marvel is standing up against the rest of the mcu right now domestically in the mcu black panther is still number one at 700 million dollars now and captain marvel creeped in at number 10 uh domestically in the mcu coming in at 321 million dollars and you can see everything you know guardians is Gal guardians of the galaxy excuse me 330 million spider-man homecoming 334 million guardians of the galaxy 2 um 389 million i think it's going to end up being number seven or eight uh, I doubt it's going to catch Captain America Civil War at uh, $408 million. But who knows when the boost comes from Avengers Endgame? You know, typically, no. But it, 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 I mean, a Black Panther got a boost. Uh, I think Captain Marvel is going to get a boost, too. So, I mean, it could meet, reach $400 million domestically. We're just going to have to see. But right now, domestically, um, in the MCU, it is coming in at number 10. Um, as far as worldwide is concerned, Captain Marvel is coming in at number seven in the MCU at $910 million. Uh, number 10 is Thor Ragnarok, 854. Guardians of the Galaxy is 863. Spider Man Homecoming is 880. And Captain Marvel is $910 million. I mean, that's crazy. Spider Man is like so popular, but is he really anymore? I mean, I think so. It's just that, you know, we, we um, had some movies over at Sony. I mean, it's still with Sony now that I guess watched a taste out of put a bad taste in people's mouth and things like that. But we're going to have to see uh, Spider-Man uh, Far From Home. Are you going to be in the Billion Dollar Club? I think you deserve it. it. Depends on how good the movie is. But right now, Captain Marvel, nine hundred and ten million dollars worldwide. Um, that is where it is sitting at as far as the MCU is concerned. Uh, let me just run again, run through the top five again real quick. Um, Captain, not Captain, number three is Wonder Park. Um, right now it is at $39 million worldwide. Uh, five Feet Apart is $32 million worldwide. And we have How to Train Your Dragon coming in at... Uh, four hundred and eighty eight million dollars worldwide on a one hundred and twenty nine million dollar budget. So that's in profit land right there. So, I mean, I guess that's cool, too. Um, As far as 2019 worldwide, let's take a look at that real quick. Of course, uh, Captain Marvel is leading the way uh, with three hundred and twenty one million dollars. This is domestic. How to Train Your Dragon coming in at number two. Glass at number three. The Upside and number four and the Lego Movie Part Two. The second part coming in at number five. Now, I think Shazam and um, a few other movies coming out in the next few months will uh, knock a few of those out. Us is coming in at number seven. Alita Battle Angel. We're going to talk about Alita in a second. But, you know, that's what's leading right now domestically as far as 2019 is concerned. And uh, let's just look at this top 10 real quick, guys. Top 10 uh, for this weekend. Again, Us is number one. Captain Marvel. Uh, Us is number one at 70 million. Captain Marvel, number two, 35 million. Wonder Park, number three, 9 million. 
Five feet apart, number four, eight, eight million, um, bringing in eight million. How to Train a Dragon, The Hidden World, coming in number five at six million. Tyler Perry's A Medea Family Funeral. I have a review for that channel as well. Um, go check it out. It brought in another four point five million dollars. Uh, it is a sixty six million dollars worldwide. So it had a twenty million dollar production budget. So it's in profit land. Number seven is Gloria Bell bringing in one point eight. Number eight is No uh, No Manchas Frida Two coming in at one point seven. Number nine is The Lego Movie Part Two bringing in one point one, and A Little Battle Angel bringing in another one million dollars. Um, I think a little is I said it was a flop last time. I think it's kind of like in break even territory right now. I could be wrong. Uh, worldwide is at three hundred ninety nine million. We're just going to round up, say, four hundred because it's three hundred ninety nine million eight hundred sixty six thousand. It'll cross over four hundred million. I'm pretty sure the production budget was one hundred and seventy million. So that's like two point three, two point four times the budget. Um uh, that's kind of in breaking even territory. You know, maybe you lost some money, but I don't know how much the production budget was. Um, you know, I, I just don't know. So again, films need to make at least three times the budget, you know, to be comfortably or, you know, respectable and profit land. But, you know, we just don't know. But guys, that is the top five. That is the top 10 for this box office rundown of just my opinion. What do you think about us making 70 million? What do you think about Captain Marvel on its way to one billion dollars, making 910 million dollars worldwide so far? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine, but you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy by providing links to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction of all these box office numbers especially us and captain marvel and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace <laughs>